Tyreek. He sounds like he's coming this way. We'll see what happens. this tree back here. I gotta do it quick. He's definitely gotten closer. I'm gonna shut up for a little bit. Cause he has gotten closer. I got a pretty good bit of cover right here in front of me, which is good. He's coming. It's just a matter of how long it's going to take him to get here. This bird is gobbling his head off. He's got to be alone. Got to be alone. You don't go to my left. I see him. I just saw him down there. He's gotten behind me, I think. up there somewhere he kind of went around me into this big oak uh, track of timber he's still down in there but he's kind of oh he might be coming now
from here. Oh my gosh. I'm down here in this bottom and he comes down the ridge and then almost loops behind me where I almost made a move on him. He was kind of getting away from me, but it might have been just been the way he was facing Goblin and everything. Well, all of a sudden, the son of a gun gobbles down here at 60 yards, right here in front of me where he was coming from to begin with. Just came right in here to the decoy. The Jake decoy had him fired up, strutting. We just got it done at camp, baby. That's number two for the year. Um, I'm gonna go get him because he's flopping pretty good. Oh, we just made it happen, baby. Let's go. Number two on the year. April 12th. I think this is one of the birds I've had on camera. Gotta be, he's got a similar shaped beard. Got some really good spurs, man. Look at that. Gosh, man, it don't get no better, I'm telling y'all. It don't get no better than that now. Man, that was incredible, honestly. I mean, fired up. He was fired up from the get-go. I came down in here and I didn't quite set up, you know, from the start of the morning, I wanted to kind of listen and see where one was gobbling and roosted. Well, this bird's been spending a lot of time at this food plot up here that we planted last year for deer and turkey and everything. He's been up there with a lot of hens. And uh, so, came in here and listened up here on top of the ridge and I heard him gobble. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go down here and set up. Well, I got down here and he was fired up, real fired up. So I calling at him, trying to get his attention. And once he knew that I was kind of fired up, he on a string, I'm talking about 500 plus yards. I mean, you could tell he was coming. And um, so he kind of got down right here, uh, probably a hundred yards from me and I saw him. I, I actually saw him. Y'all hear me talking on the video where I said I saw him. And he made this loop on me almost. And he got up in this, it's really open where there's a bunch of oaks. And uh, he kind of staged up there for a little bit and I thought he was gone. It was weird. I mean, he either, I, he might have thought I was up there and uh, realized that I was over here. But once he saw that Jake decoy and that hen, man, he, kind of, he was kind of, you know how they do, they run in there, all big bowed up chest and everything. And he got near that Jake decoy like y'all saw and he just, he put on a show, man. <sighs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What a beautiful morning, man. You know, this is part of my worship, just coming out here and listening to the, the woods just come alive, you know. So, um, God's good, man. And um, he's good in the good times and the bad, so. I'm gonna get him out here to where we can take a better look at him here in a second. This has been an exciting year thus far. Two turkeys within the first couple of weeks of season. You know, putting in the work and, you know, scouting and doing all the little extra things adds up to this moment right here and it just makes this moment just that much sweeter. We're gonna get this bird uh, breasted out and it'll be some good eating later. Thank y'all for tuning into this hunt and we'll see y'all next time.